Being able to use a calculator effectively is great. Given that, it's also very important that you can do multiplication by hand. Let's practice with some larger numbers here. Example 1. 234 times 2. Let's line it up like this. We'll multiply the 2 on the bottom by each of the digits in the upper number, starting on the right. 2 times 4 equals 8. Next, 2 times 3 equals 6. So we put the 6 down here. Now we note that 3 was in the 10 spot. Therefore, we were really multiplying 2 times 30, which is 60. And that's why our 6 is in the 10 spot in our answer. So, so far, we have 68. Next, 2 times 2 equals 4. So, we put the 4 here. And again, let's consider that the 2 was in the 100th spot. So, we really multiplied 2 times 200 equals 400. And that explains why the 4 is in the 100th spot in our answer. Our final answer here is 400 and 68. Example 2. 135 times 2. Again, let's line it up like this. We're multiplying the 2 on the bottom by each of the digits in the upper number, going from right to left. So we'll start with 2 times 5 equals 10. Now, we can put the 0 down here, but the 1 is actually belonging in the 10 spot. Now we could put it down here, but we note that there are more tens to do in this question. So that might get a little confusing if we left it here. Better if we put the one up here. And that allows us to remember the extra one when we're doing the tens, which we do next. So, on to our tens. 2 times 3 equals 6, but we have this extra 1 up here to remind us that we have an extra 1 in the 10 spot to add on. So we add an extra 1, or 6 plus 1 is 7. So we have a 7 in the 10 spot. And at this point, we have 70. Next, 2 times 1 equals 2. And so we put the 2 down here. So our final answer here is 270. One last example. Example 3. 352 times 5. Again, let's line it up. We're multiplying the 5 on the bottom by each of the digits in the upper number, right to left again. 5 times 2 is 10. Let's put the 0 down here. But again, the 1 goes to the 10 spot. So we'll put it up here and say we're carrying the 1. Next, 5 times 5 is 25. But we have the 1 up here to remind us that we have an extra 1 in the 10 spot. So we add that 1. So we have 25 plus 1 or 26 in the 10 spot. So let's put the 6 here, but in this case, that extra 2 belongs in the 100th spot. Again, we could show it down here, but we have more 100s to do. So let's put it up here and say we're carrying the 2. Next, the 100s. 5 times 3 is 15. We see that we have our 2 carried here. So 15 plus 2 equals 17. In this case, we put both the 1 and the 7 down here, as the 1 is in the thousands spot, but there aren't any more thousands to do, so it will hold that spot by itself. And our final answer is 1760.